What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zami from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys six workflow tips that will definitely improve your productivity when you're producing or mixing or mastering your music in Cubase Pro 10.5, right? If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification and smash that like button and share this video to all your friends and family, right? So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first tips I have for you guys is to organize your folders. So organize your uh, sample library, uh, your synth sounds all in one place. And then when you're producing your music, you can able to quickly load that to your project and you know, start working on your beat without any delays. In Cubase, if you go to right zone, just click on right zone, you can see this favorite folder here. Click on this favorite folder and, and you can see a list of folders that you have added to this favorite folder. So for now, I have only added one favorite folder, which is the battery samples. So all these files will be in this folder. If you click on it, you can see all those samples within one folder. So that's really helpful when I'm trying to look for all the files that I want. So in order for you to add that, you have to actually go to file browser. I keep my samples in my E drive, which is my SSD. And so I'll go to whichever files that I have right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to okay let's go to native instruments and see what folders that we have here let's say I want to add this prism into the favorite folder all I have to do is just right click on this and go to add favorite and then you have to name it and hit ok so when you do that when you go to favorite folder you can see these folders already added to the favorite folders and if you don't like this folder you can go ahead and click on this X button here and you can and just hit OK alright it's that simple guys so the first tips is to always organize your folders right that will definitely help your workflow alright so the second tips is arrangement technique actually the second tips and the third tips both are kind of similar I'm gonna show you how to add uh, like empty bars here for example okay this is the beat that I've been working on right now for my next album which is for lo-fi album okay let's say if I want to add some empty bars here from 9 to 10 and I want to add something else in between here maybe a break section or something what I usually did before was I select all and then I move it and then I cut and move it back right so that's a lot of hassle here in Cubase there's another awesome way to add empty bars all you have to do is just go to the range selection tools Okay, just right click, go to range selection tools and you highlight the bars that you want, the empty space and go to edit, go to range and go to insert silence. Okay, now you, you've got yourself super cool, awesome, empty bars, right? So you can do whatever you want here and if let's say you want to add a few more bars, you can do the same, just highlight all, go to edit, range and insert silent and if you notice here there's already a shortcut control shift plus e okay so now we have four empty bars and you can add some pre-chorus or chorus or whatever you want here okay so that's the tips number two the tips number three is the ripple edit so if you want to edit it back let's say for example if, if you have added something else in here let's say you did some kind of arrangement here and you don't like it already after that what you can do you can usually you can delete and move it back but we have another way to do that quickly you have to go to range selection tool again select all press shift make sure you select all the empty bars here and go to edit range and delete time so now it's back to where it was before okay so another way to delete is for example now you have this you can actually press P to select all okay and then press shift backspace that's another way to ripple delete the, the section alright so that's the tip number three uh, let's move on to tip number four Tip number four is about how to bounce multiple MIDI tracks. So if you have seen my other videos, I think I made a couple of videos where I create my own samples and then I chop the samples. And 
In order for me to create my own samples, I need to bounce all the MIDI tracks into one audio track. In the previous version of Cubase, what I usually do is I'll select the, the section and then I'll go to File, go to Export Audio Mixdown, then I import it back to the project window. But here now we can do it quickly with the render setting. So for example, I have this bass uh, kick and the clap and the roads. Okay. For example, if I want to render this to an audio so that I can chop it later, I can just pr select all, right click, go to render in place, go to render settings, make sure it select as complete signal path plus master FX and then you can name you whatever you want and make sure you select mix down to one audio file if you don't check on this it will bounce separately so we don't want that we want we want the mix down to be in one file so I'm gonna click on this and hit render let's listen to this first Okay, now let's say if I want to bounce the audio and MIDI together. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. So let me add all the audio tracks here. Okay, let's hear it. Cool. So I'm going to select all. Press shift again. Render in place. Render settings and the settings is all same you have to make sure this is checked if it's not checked you will not be able to hear the audio being rendered okay you will be only hear, able to hear the MIDI uh, which is being rendered so we don't want that we have to make sure that the whole complete signal path and master effect is selected and then make sure mix down to one audio file is checked as well now hit render cool so let's hear it Cool. So that's tip number four, bouncing multiple MIDI tracks. And the next tips is to, okay, let me just delete this first. All right. So next tip is on how to edit multiple MIDI track simultaneously. So usually when I'm arranging for strings or orchestral track, I will use this technique because it, sometimes I'll have violins playing the top melody, the main melody, and then cello playing the counter melodies etc so I don't want to be opening one MIDI editor and then work on it and then close it go back to the other one it's hassle to do stuff like that so what I'll do usually is I'll just select all double click and open the MIDI track so now if you see all the highlighted track is the one is being selected so if you want to know which file is this you just have to go here okay clap and we have kick kick is being highlighted and we have bass bass being highlighted and the ropes right so this is useful when you're writing for counter melodies or even sometimes when you want to create some kind of a bouncing rhythm for your drums and you want to see what's going on between the other section other percussion maybe so you can quickly do that with this if the MIDI track is not named properly and uh, it will be kind of a challenge for you because you won't be able to see the information in the MIDI editor alright so that's the tip number five let's move on to tip number six okay tip number six is very simple sometimes when I'm mixing a track I want to have two different tracks having the same kind of channel settings so now I have this plugin here okay let me just EQ this real quick Okay, so for example, if I have this EQ settings here, I want to copy all the plugins and also the EQ, set, EQ settings to a different track. All I have to do is go to Mix Console here. Okay, right click on it, go to Copy First Selected Channel Settings and go to the channel that I want the settings to be. Make sure it's highlighted. Right click and go to Pay Settings to Selected Channels. Okay. 
and please be aware that it will also affect the fader for example the fader of vinyl okay let me just go back and copy this and I'm gonna right click see even the fader is being affected now if I go to the channel settings of FX10 I can see the same F effects being added that's it for today guys i hope you find value in this video i'll be sharing more beat making tips and tricks in cubase on this channel be sure to subscribe and turn on post notification and smash that like button as well thanks so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video